have stood with you in your remarkable and courageous walk to freedom, and we intend to be with you, sir, all the way along that walk until the people of South Africa are equal and free. Thank you. That's a moment, you, you and Mandela. That's a moment. There's a lot of moments. Yeah. There, there was another moment, George, that was even more spectacular, but very private. Because I had chaired the Commonwealth Committee on for Foreign Ministers on Southern Africa, I was one of a handful of people who was invited to Lusaka, Zambia, the country next door to South Africa, when Mr. Mandela came out, just out of prison, two weeks out of prison, to visit the African National Congress in exile. That's right. And he walked into that room. There were only about 100 or so of us there, most of them ANC uh, veterans. And he spoke briefly, and there were then some questions from them. And the first one, naturally, from a grizzled veteran of the wars, was, was critical of the Afrikaans people who'd held Mr. Mandela captive. And he looked at, at his supporters and he said, we have to remember how hard this is for them, how hard this is for our captors, for the people who'd kept us down. I've never seen an act of generosity uh, like that, a mentality of generosity again. And, you know, it's, uh, it is the case that sometimes the actions and statements of a person reveal an inner character. That was Nelson Mandela. It was amazing at that time how difficult it seemed to get Western leaders to support Mandela and to support the ANC. And what were you thinking when, I mean, Reagan wasn't really where he needed to be. Thatcher wasn't where she needed to be. We had a little more latitude than they did. Uh, and we were where we needed to be. Uh, yes, they had, uh, you know, Mrs. Thatcher is, a, is obviously a very, was a very complex person. Uh, she was not, uh, she was not anti-black. Uh, she just believed that uh, the opponents, uh, that, that the kind of campaign we were waging against apartheid would do more damage to the, to the, to the black majority than otherwise. I disagreed with her, but I understood the position. Uh, I think President Reagan was probably the same thing. The, the Americans were involved in a, in a, in a, in a larger game uh, involving the Soviet Union at the time, and that was, uh, that was a factor there. But there was a need for somebody to step forward. The Commonwealth, from which whose meetings Canada is staying away from now. Yeah. The Commonwealth played a really critical uh, role in that, both because we were numerous, there were a lot of us, but also because we reflected the wide world. Uh, we were not just wealthy Canada. We were also big countries and small who were around the world who, who had uh, all sorts of challenges of their own. And yet we came together on this and we acted together on this. Mm -hmm.